Hey everyone, welcome to our short and sweet bar workout for lower body. You don't need any equipment, bare feet is best. Keep your shoes on if you feel safer, but it's nice to have our balance reflexes as close to the floor as possible. Uh, a chair is what we need, or a countertop, back of a sofa, or even a wall if you don't mind getting fingerprints all over your wall. Okay, let's get started. A little bit of a warm up. We're going to start just by rolling through the feet. Roll up through the toes, feel through the feet. If you have shoes on, you can still feel that underneath. Feel free to kick them off halfway if it feels a little bit goofy with shoes. Okay, we're just pedaling the feet, pedaling the feet, pedaling the feet, four and three and two, and let's plant our feet hip distance apart. Lift and spread the toes so you have that feeling between big toe, pinky toe, and heel. Easy squat down and up, down, and up. Let the arms do whatever they want to do. If they want to move forward, move them forward. Keep them as a counterbalance to our torso. Bum goes back, chest stays open. Having hands on hips is a nice way. It encourages that open collarbone. From side to side, pumping the legs, going only as low as it feels comfortable just to warm up through those big muscles. We're going to be working through these big quads our hamstrings, side muscles, because this area of our body is the biggest muscle group for calorie burning, for building muscle, for building endurance and strength. Three more, and two, and here's our last one. Come all the way up, sweep the arms up, have a little look up, sweep the arms down, come back into that low squat. Push the feet, lift up, eyes up, sweep down, look down. Two more, up, and down, up, and down, last one, and down, good, come all the way back up, take a little side bend, reach, breathe, open through the side ribs, other side, big one, up, over, breathe through your side ribs, and back to center, let's take those hands on the hips, roll the shoulders up, back and down, and then step the feet out a little bit wider. So instead of having a squat position where we send the bum back and chest forward, coming into a plie. So we want to have our feet really wide. I'd sooner see a wider stance in our feet and less range of motion instead of squishy feet together and then going low. Our knees won't be happy if they go too far. So we take the feet wider and then we adjust for those plies. Let's take the first few just to kind of feel into it. So ideally we have our knees over top of our ankles. The turnout of your feet is completely up to you. It's wherever your knees feel happy. If you feel any pinch or uh, discomfort, adjust the turnout of the feet and adjust how deeply you're going into your plie. Okay, again, hands on hips if that feels nice. Or let's try some arm variations. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Bring those muscles to the center line of the body. But even as we're doing that, keep the arms soft, like we're holding a huge, huge beach ball, almost the size of the room, keeping the grip loose in the fingertips, shoulders away from the ears, little gentle pumping through the legs. Two more. And last one, come all the way up, take the arms up, reach high, now drop those shoulders down. Lift up, sweep down, plie, eyes go down all the way up, reach high and active, drop the arms in. Let's do that two more times. Feel the difference where your shoulders are disengaged and when they're dropping in. So in bar, we like to keep that sensation of the shoulder blades being tucked in, the collarbones wide, open, graceful chest, drop, lift, come all the way back out, soften those elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades into the center line, then let's add a little bit of movement. So outside leg from whatever your support is, bring it in, little plie, step it out, little plie, other side, in and wide, in and wide. Let's add some arms, up and out, up and out. So again, change the depth of your plie for however you feel right here, right now. You can always add a little bit more depth to it if you're feeling comfy, but we're just getting started, so we're just really warming up the muscles. Okay, finish up right here, close to our support, actively reach, and now roll through your spine, tuck your chin, rolling all the way down, relax your hands, relax your neck, looking down at the floor, and just a little sway. Keep those knees soft and 
then just slowly rolling all the way back up. Ah, shoulders up, back and down. Let's get to our feet before we actually get moving. Okay, so if you need uh, balance support, have your chair or whatever it is close by. And we just do a little point and a flex. Foot warm up, point and flex, point and flex. So after our first few of these, you're gonna notice how this hip flexor feels. With our big heavy leg lifting up in space, we wanna have that nice tall spine. In other words, we don't wanna be leaning back, asking our back muscles and our core to do the work. We want our core doing the work, keeping upright. So even though we're warming up the foot right now, we're basing our support through the standing leg, staying upright, and getting a good sense of how we feel balancing, and how this quad up here feels. Good form when we do our workout is going to activate the muscles really healthy. So then we're not overtraining in an uh, unnecessary way. We're not overtraining in a way that's gonna cause dysfunction. So nice and tall, tummy in, two more, and then over to the other side. Okay, shift and wiggle, move those hips, release some of that tension. My quad's already on fire. Here we go, point and flex, point, and flex, point, 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 flex, 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 ankle mobility, toe mobility. You can do this with shoes on too. You just won't get the full range of your point. Shoes are a-okay. Barefoot is best, shoes are a-okay. Three, and two, tall spine, last one, and there we go, okay. Shake, wiggle, release. Let's get at it. So be nice and warm. We're going to stand profile to our chair, having the hands slightly ahead. Why do we do that? Is because if it's right in line with our shoulder, we're more likely to rely on that support. So out in front a little bit, so we've got a graceful line from shoulder down to our wrist, tall spine, tummy in, shoulders back, down, open in the chest. Let's soften in that standing knee a little bit, and then take your outside leg to the side. Point those toes and internally rotate your foot just a little bit. So you've got a rotation from hip down to toes. Hands on hips to begin with, so we're reminding ourselves to stay open. Now all we do is a little lift. A little lift. Notice that I'm not leaning over into it. The goal here is not how high we go, it's to isolate. Make these muscles here, our side hip muscles, our standing stabilizers, do the work. So even if your toes are just coming off the floor, just a teeny weeny bit, I'm sure you're feeling it. And I'm sure after we're finished with this, you're gonna feel really nice and activated. Okay, so find that full range of motion where we're still standing upright, we're not relying on the chair. Three, two, and one. Now come all the way up to your spot where it feels the most challenging and only go halfway. All the way up down halfway, all the way, halfway, up, halfway down, three, and two, and last one, all the way up, point your toes super long as they can possibly go like laser beams, and little circles, and circle, three, four, other way, two, three, Four, step nice and wide, find that turnout for a second position, open your chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, let's release some of that tension just with a few plies. Down and pull up in the spine. So again, let's reset that posture. It's like your back is sliding down that imaginary wall. We don't wanna have any leaning forward. All weight is being distributed down through the legs into the feet, not through our backs. Soft elbows. Two more, last one, arm sweep up. How does it feel to roll up in through your toes? Squeeze the ankles, the arches, and then lower back down. Whew. Give everything a nice little shake shake. I bet your standing hip is feeling that too. Let's stay in that nice wide second position. Adding a little bit of a combo. So arms wide, chest is open, plie down, point and reach over. Plie down, reach. So you choose how deep you'd like to go. Let this focus here be the, the pinpoint. 
lengthen from fingers to toes. Fingers to toes. Fingers to toes. Last one, we're gonna hold here, find that length. No bending and collapsing in the chest. Open, long. Now let's add in a little bit more movement here. Elbow to knee, lengthen long. Doesn't matter how high you bring that leg. If the elbow doesn't touch the knee, that's fine. Again, the focus is length, in, length, in, length, in. And reach two more, squeeze and reach, squeeze, reach and hold. Find that open chest. What's happening to your bottom hand? Are you leaning into it or is your body holding you in space? Now little one inch lifts, fingers and toes, lift and lift, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step wide to the side, second position. Back to that first and second alternating. Wide, narrow, wide, narrow, out, and in, out, and in. All the way up, reach actively, eyes up, spinal roll, release some of that tension in through the back. Roll up nice and slow, take your time, take your time, and let's do that all on the second side. So. Spin your chair around, turn yourself around at your countertop, find a new wall to put fingertips on, whatever you'd like to do. And let's get that chair set up. So we've got our hand in front supporting, not in line with the shoulder, but just slightly ahead. Softness in that standing leg, lift out of the waist, open the chest. Outside leg, point it, turn it, lift it. Lift and lift. So that knee that we're standing on is not locked out. We're keeping a slight bend in it. Number one, so we're easier on the joints. Number two, when our leg is bent, we're activating the whole musculature from the sole of the foot, through the calf, through the quad, up into the butt. Toes are pointed and lifting and lifting. We're not leaning over. We're staying as upright as we can not worrying about how high this leg goes. It doesn't have to go high to get these side muscles working efficiently. Okay, we didn't try it on the first side, so let's try it on the second side. Open your arm out. How does that feel? How does it feel for a balance challenge to open the arm out on the second side? Even if it's just for a couple. And two more. And last one. Now go up to that height and go halfway down all the way up, halfway down. Whoo, this is a burner, halfway down. All the way up, halfway down. All the way, halfway, all the way, halfway. Two more. Last one, stay high, circles. Two, three, four. Other way, two, three, Four, step wide, second position. Boy, oh boy, my standing leg was just shaking. Lift up and back to second. Let's take those eyes up again and back to second. Two more. And last one. Here's our lean over, second position. Lean it over. Wide and long. Leaning with length. Think about from fingernails to toenails, everything stretching and lengthening on the side of the body. Taking awareness again, how much pressure we're putting into our support. We want our muscles to hold us in space, not our supporting hand. Two, and last one. Hold here, find that length, no closing in the chest. Stack your shoulders nicely down, elbow to knee. Squeeze in and out. Squeeze, lengthen. What's happening to your standing knee? Keep it soft, not locked. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze and reach. Four more. And three. And two. <sighs> Last one. Lengthen, lengthen, find that good open chest, long line, and lift, and lift, and lift. Four more, three, two, last one, step wide, soft to the side, 
alternate first position, second, other leg, in and out, shoulders down, shoulder blades in, in and out, in and out, two more. And let's finish up close to our support, first position, lengthen and lift, and then spinal roll to release that tension that may have built up in our back. Move and wiggle, roll up nice and easy, one vertebra at a time, Whew, shoulders up, back and down. Okay, let's get into a little bit of more quad activation. So I am sweating up a storm here. It doesn't take much in bar to get these muscles going. If you'd like to hit rewind for a greater workout, do it twice through, Whew, good for you. You go and do it, I'd love to know how it goes. Okay, standing far enough away from your support. There's just your fingertips holding onto the chair. We don't want death grip and uh, tension in the hands. We want nice everything nice. to be soft and loose and relaxed. Roll through your feet from heels to toes a few times. Reset the balance reflexes. Feet are under the hips. Rolling and rocking. And then just come back to neutral. Soften through the knees. Now give this a try. You can always keep your feet flat, but try lifting the heels, called releve position. Heels are lifted. And having that nice wide stance in our toes really helps. This is great for building strength in through the feet, in the ankles, and the toes. Okay, pull the tummy in, elevator goes down. We're not leaning, we're taking the weight and pushing it into our feet, and up. We go down and up. On the way up, push your fingers into your support. That's gonna activate the core. And down and up. On the way up, squeeze up to the top of your head. On the way down, sink, sink. Lift and sink. The depth here, again, completely up to you. You do you. Today might be a different day than it was yesterday. You might want to go a little bit lower today than you did yesterday. Do what's good for you. And up. Two more. And up. Last one. All the way up. All the way down. Give everything a nice little shake and a wiggle to reset. Now we're going to alternate a lunge back. So we're going to come back to that optional releve. You can always keep the feet flat and just move with uh, all your toes and your heels on the floor. If you'd like to do releve, up we go. Fingertip placement, pressing down for core activation. Find that low position that feels good. Come up and step back. Back to center and down. Other leg up, step back, up and down again. Up, back, up, down. Lift, back, up and down. One, two, three, four. Last one two, three, four. Step back to that first side. Front foot stays lifted. Back heel lifted. Down we go to our challenge zone. Halfway up. All the way down. Halfway up. All the way down. Whoo, halfway up. We got four more. Sweating up a storm. Three and two. Last one. Stay low. Little pulses. Keep lifting that heel. Holy smokers, four and three and two. Kick off your back toes, come all the way up and we go down and switch. Lift, step back, muscles are shaking. Halfway up, all the way down. Halfway up, all the way down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Four more and three more and two. And last one, we're staying low, we're just pulsing. Little one inch, one inch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push off those toes, high on the feet, low on the feet, and good job. Give that a shake and a wiggle. I just earned myself 14 more beads of sweat. How about you? Okay, let's do one more exercise to get into the glutes. So standing fold over glutes. My chair here is a little bit low. Ideally, I'd be at a tall countertop or a ballet bar height. So find a spot that will suit that just for you. If you've got a lower chair like me, you'll just have to be a little bit more aware to pull the tummy in a little bit further. Okay, so stepping back, what we wanna have here is our foot directly underneath our hip, not too close, 
not way back. Why do we want that? Because we want the weight distribution going through this leg to strengthen it. So take your time to get adjusted. Finding that happy height. Your working leg, point it behind. Keep your hip points facing the floor. Bending in that standing knee just a little bit. Pull the tummy in. Your spine is neutral, which means your eyes are looking down in front of you. So if you need to adjust to see the screen, do so, so your neck's not gonna get compromised. Otherwise, just follow along to the verbal cues. And here we go. We're lifting up to hip height. Tap down. Lift, tap down. Leg is straight as an arrow. Walk that working knee to get all the muscles from hips to toes working in a long straight line. Tap and lift. Four more. And three. And two. Last one, we're staying high. Flex the foot, bend the knee, heel to bum, lengthen it out. So what's happening to the hip? Are you peeling open or can you keep those hip points like flashlights down to the floor? Heel to bum, lengthen out. Heel in and out. In and out, in and out. Three and two, last one. Now take that knee, round the spine, take your knee towards your forehead and then point it out long. Knee to nose, round the spine, point it out long. Just two more like this, round and lengthen and round and lengthen. Good, put that foot back on the floor, step way back from your support and just pedal out your feet. Move things around. I bet you felt your standing butt, your standing hip muscles do some work there. They're working hard to keep our body stabilized, which is why we want to have that proper foot placement right underneath our hip. Okay, second side, let's get set up. Okay, so foot under hip, tummy drawn in, neutral spine, eyes looking forward and down, standing leg is bent, point your working leg, lift up to hip height, tap it down. Lift up, tap down, lift and tap, up and down. Keep reaching with that straight, straight leg. Three more and two. Last one, we keep those hip points facing down, flex the foot, bend the knee, heel to bum, reach it long, in and out. Six more and reach. Foot stays flexed the entire time. You'll feel that nice stretch through the sole of the foot, up the calf. Three, and two, and last one. Keep it long, point the toes. Round the spine, knee to nose, in, and out. Three more, in, and out. Two more, and out. Last one. Reach, reach, and lower down. Step back away from your support. Have a nice bit of uh, activation through your fingers all the way up to the shoulders. Take your feet a little bit wider than the mat and just lean over to one side. Pressing actively through the hands to help support the shoulder girdle. Back to center, bend the knees round the spine. Come back to neutral and then lean over to the other side. Stretch out through that inner thigh. Back to neutral round the spine. Walk yourself back up to your chair. Okay, let's grab hold of our ankle to stretch out through the quads. If you find it tricky to reach around and grab hold of your ankle for a quad stretch, you can always use your support and pop your foot up on the chair. However, you're going to get into it by either grabbing or using your support, bend the standing knee, drive the hips forward, and really focus on opening up through that hip. So pressing the hips forward. However we're getting into it, get into that nice quad and release. Let's do the other side. So if we're using a chair, make sure you're using a wall for extra support. Grabbing hold, bend the knees, press the hip, press the thigh forward. Nice quad stretch. Big breath, breath, easy breathing, 
and shake it out. Okay, so let's use our chair to get into our hamstring. You might want to use your wall. Hamstring stretches, toes go high, leg is straight but don't lock the knee out, hips face forward, bend your standing knee, hinge forward. Have a little look, stay open through your chest. Come all the way back up. And other side. Standing knee softens, working leg is just a micro bend, lean into it. Coming all the way back up. Whew. Let's find those feet again. Roll through. Roll through, toes to heels, heels to toes. Step wide to the side, big arm sweep up, eyes go high, arm sweep down, back to that squat. Lift up high, match your breath. <sighs> Inhaling high, last time. Sweep down, stay down, relax your upper body, roll all the way back up. Shoulders up, back and down, whenever you get there, take your time. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I wonder if you're as sweaty as I am. If you'd like to go at it again, hit the rewind button. It's a great way to tone up the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings. Work out our tiny little foot muscles. So, have a great day. We'll see you again.